Takahushi TL12 V2 gets a real block heater. When you go to flip the cab on here, or anytime you have the arms up and uh, working on it for any amount of time, you got to make sure you throw the uh, stopper up on there. Make sure they don't come down or creep down. Always make sure to use your safety stops. bolts and the whole cab tips back. Kind of nice. So now that it's warmed up, we'll uh, pop the cab back here and give it a oil drain. We got the mud scraped out of there, or drain the antifreeze out. I'm gonna try changing out the plug on the side of the block there for a actual block heater. Uh, do it right, and hopefully it works a lot better. So while hunting for this plug to pull for the block heater that actually screws in the block. I uh, couldn't see a single thing so I ended up sticking the cell phone up on video snooping around through the uh, bottom where the oil pan is. So at the very top center there you can see that hex plug. About all you can do is see it. You can't really feel it. You can't get your hand in there up from the bottom. So I had to look at doing it another way and pull the uh, oil filter off from underneath the cab where it bolts onto the bell housing. And I was able to feel through there and put a socket and extension on. Actually, it looks like it's seeping out of there, too. Okay, so we're going to loosen off and try to swing this intercooler, oil cooler, radiator combination out. Uh, I know for sure I have to take this hose off here for the intercooler. And maybe that will give us a little more clearance than going through the other way and moving the oil filter from under the cab there. So we'll give it a whirl and uh, see how this works. Thank you. 
Okay, radio will zoo. Got the hoses off on the intercooler and the radiator part there, but I'm not pulling the oil cooler hoses, so what you have for gap here is what we're going to have. I'm going to pull the fan off. Once the fan's off, I can pull the fan shroud, and then I should be able to hopefully get through and see where I'm going there. I don't know if I have to pull the fan or not, but I uh, don't want to break the plastic here. I know why they didn't do this now. And opted for an easy out. It just goes to show you if you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. We're complaining about it before warranty's up. Feels like I'm getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, bingo. That's what I needed. Okay, still. Well, let's run this camera in slow. Sorry about the the jerkiness here. There's no way I can really put this in and and film what I'm doing. I was looking at doing this from the other side, from the front cab there, originally, and uh, thought everybody just see my butt crack otherwise. But you you can see maybe depending on the light up in here. Well, that's good. I'm in the middle of something. I don't know if you can see or not. That's the best I can do for a, a picture. So. Okay, so the block heater, it says, fits the Kubota 3800. is a 3500120 by Zero Start Temro. Uh, it takes an inch and three eight socket. So we'll be screwing that back in with that one. Just a little stubby thing here. 400 watts makes you wonder. It appears to be be the right thread. It just looks to be the right size. We'll just throw a caliper on here and just double check. But 400 watts, 115 volt. Got to be better than the one that just takes the glow plug light off and doesn't actually heat the block. 
1.3. Is this a spot on the plug? I guess if you go on the paper, it's almost at uh, 295, 296. So it you, should be the same. If you go in there, it's, uh, at the beginning, it's uh, 1.268. So it should work. Close to them. Three from three. I think you have about two and a half turns total on that thing so far. <coughs> between what I did and you did. Try tucking this camera in once more. Hopefully, you can see the plug in here. When you see see the plug where it's in now, where the oil cooler lines are there, and the antifreeze. I had to pull the antifreeze line off there to facilitate getting that in as well as the uh, oil fill if this was in a tractor or something uh, where the block's external. things you want to make sure is there's no oil on this uh, intercooler holes or fittings. I uh, had nothing but problems with that with a Ford before. I had some service work done. I had a positive air shut off for working the oil patch up here. And uh, every time I go in, there's the oil inside the turbo system from the PVC valve there. It Cause just enough friction when you got some good boost and pull the, the pipe work apart. And uh, the only thing I found for it was a lot of brake clean and.
from here just had to bolt the rad back together there and uh, top it off with antifreeze and away it goes. If you want to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe and I'll try to keep some content coming.